so i'm starting off with moisturizing my skin and i'm using my favorite pack light full moisture cream very lightweight very good for makeup i am going to use nasio ageless illuminating primer which adds slight glow to your skin i think it's a really good product to use on everyday basis if you use bb cream or cc creams next i am going to do color correcting i have a little bit of uh, discoloration around my mouth as you can see in the moment i applied um, the corrector the discoloration from that side of my face is completely gone so it's really really important if you are looking for a flawless base you should do color correction first now you can see my face is color corrected and it's looking pretty much even toned without using a foundation next time moving on to my foundation i'm using my makeup forever ultra hd foundation i'm testing out this foundation to see how well it works so yeah i am using my pack beauty blender which is like my current favorite it's really good and i am dabbing and blending the foundation i love using sponges because first it soaks up any excess product on your skin which makes it really good for people with dry skin because on dry skin if you apply too much product it ends up looking uh, very cakey so yeah that's that and also i found that this foundation if i don't really moisturize my skin it looks slightly uh, dry so yeah so i'm applying it all over my face even under my eyes and this provides light to medium coverage i would say like i have just taken two pumps of the foundation which is more than enough for my entire face and it will give me light to medium coverage you can build it up now moving on to concealing and i'm using the lightest shade from this milani palette which is in the shade medium medium dark and it's a really good palette i really like the formula of the concealer here it's cream but not uh, slippery or crusty very nice it applies and blends well next i'm moving on to blush and i'm using this uh, faces blend finity cream blush it looks the color looks quite scary in the tube but once you apply it blends into the skin really really well so i had to go back and apply more because it was just blending into like it was just disappearing so i ended up applying a bit too much but you know uh, blushes oxidize and disappear first so it will lighten up by the time we are done with the makeup now i'm using pack 261 brush and applying a little bit of powder on my t zone you don't really have to powder your face if your skin is dry i out of habit i end up applying powder so as you can see the blush has already uh lightened up a bit that's why i like applying cream blushes i love them on me my skin is very dry and i try to minimize the use of powder next time using this bronzer from melani which is a baked bronzer so baked means it has shimmers but once you apply and blend it doesn't really show up that much like the glitter shimmer particles and it adds a beautiful warm color to your face i like it but i don't love it i'm just trying to use it i honestly prefer using my previous bronzers like that are matte this is a new palette i i have been sent this palette by an instagram page called beauty souk and it has lot of neutral shades so i picked this first color which is like a rosy tone color and as you can see just one dip of brush was more than enough to cover my entire lid so yes pigmentation is there now i'm taking this brown and concentrating it on my outer v the only challenge with this palette is that there are too many lighter shades that won't be of much use for me but if you're looking for a good neutral palette this is a nice one now i'm taking this topi color first i applied it with my finger and then realized that applying it with a brush is a better idea because it was sticking to my finger it was not transferring that well on my lids but yes the colors are nice and pigmented so i have swatched three metallic shades for you here on my arm and i'm swatching the rest like four matte colors so they are not like extremely pigmented um they are nice but they are the colors are like quite light for my skin tone but if you are fair to medium this palette is going to work wonders for you now i've taken a slightly darker color than the uh, lead color and applying it on the outer v and i'm taking a light cream off white color and just applying it on the brow bone and i'm now blending both the colors like in the transition color 
Moving on to my brows, I'm using this L'Oreal Brow Artist Kit. I d dug it out. Uh, I remember re using it so much. And I was using it and believe me, after using the Brow Pomade, I was a bit struggling with this kit because Brow Pomade is like one sweep and your brow is done. But with this one, I had to go back and um, like keep going back to fill my brows. Also, I, I realized that this time, I don't know, either my brows are crooked, like they were not shaped well, or I don't know. Now, I'm just setting my face with this Makeup Mist by Faces. I just use it to set the powder products on my face because I don't really want my face to look too powdery. And uh, just to set the concealer and brighter up. Basically, I wanted to brighten up the area, so I'm using this Color Bar Loose Powder. This is very nice, very lightweight. So for my eyes, I wanted to keep it soft and so I applied Isadora Gel Eyeliner in brown and believe me, right after this application, I poked my eyes and it took me a long time to finally get my eyes right and not water during the makeup. So yeah, I'm taking the same color, the lid color and applying it on the lower lash line and now I am doing what I dread the most eyelashes i still struggle so much it took me good 15 20 minutes to get uh, both the eyelashes on then i went ahead with maybelline Gigi hadid uh, felt tip liner and did my eyeliner so this is another palette that was sent by beauty souk and it's a uh, it's from a brand called febel this is a highlighter palette very very pretty beautiful colors it's very soft and not shimmery or chunky as you can see one swipe and the color looks so so good on me there are so many shades that you can actually use as eyeshadows so i'm just highlighting the usual places and uh, applying a little bit of the same highlighter into the inner corners of my eyes just to bring some light back and you can see immediately it brightens up the eye look at the difference because generally that area of our eyes is dark i don't know why so it looks really pretty I'm setting my face once again. My eye was still very watery. I'm applying Faces uh, Ultimate Pro HD Creole in the shade Mulberry. And uh, this is like my favorite shade out of all the shades I have picked from Faces. Formula is nice. It's very rich. And I have already done the swatches. Um, i link them in the description box. The, the color looks really nice on camera so the makeup is done it's very simple it's quick and uh, yeah this is me with my hair open i'm sitting too close to my ring light i don't know why i have this habit but i think the makeup turned out all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you very very soon in my next video till then bye